Hi, everybody, and welcome to this lesson on the Resource Access Manager, or RAM, in AWS. So RAM basically allows you to share your resources with any AWS account or through AWS organizations. So like most enterprise organizations, they have multiple accounts, whether it be for geographical reasons or different parts of the business. This Resource Access Manager allows you to share various resources throughout them to centrally allow you to manage and govern your entire AWS ecosystem. So it offers a number of benefits. Three main ones that um, I find very useful for RAM is first and foremost, it reduces the operational overhead. So it allows you to create resources that are central and use the RAM to share them across other accounts. Now, the first thing it does, it eliminates the need to provision duplicate resources in every account and obviously reduces the operational overhead. Secondly, it provides the greater security and consistency because it allows you to govern consumption of those resources that are shared using existing policies and permissions. And with that, you know, you achieve greater security control over your AWS account. It also provides visibility and auditability because you're able to view the usage details for shared resources by integrating them with CloudWatch and CloudTrail because it provides comprehensive visibility into everything that you've shared across your ecosystem. Now, before we get into how the Resource Access Manager actually works, in order for you to follow along with this tutorial, a couple of things that you'll need to do is first and foremost, you'll have to have a second AWS account created. So I have the one main one that I'm working with here. And then I also have a second AWS account that I'm using for the purposes of this demonstration. So that's the first step is you need to have two accounts. Next step is that you need to have the AWS organizations enabled in both accounts. So if I navigate on over to AWS organizations in my main account, as you guys can see, I have two accounts within my AWS organizations, the main account that I'm using here and the second account that I have here. And both of these basically make up the organization that I've called Claydesk. So in, in the organizational unit Claydesk, there are two accounts, one that I'm using currently and the second one that I have open here in the second screen. Lastly, after you've enabled organizations, you have to make sure that within the settings, you have every AWS service enabled in order for AWS organizations and the RAM to work. So the trusted access for the services, all of these services need to be enabled for Resource Access Manager to work properly and allow you to share resources within your accounts or within your organizations in AWS. So after you have that accomplished, that's when you can go ahead and navigate on over to the Resource Access Manager dashboard and go ahead and start sharing resources. One thing to keep in mind is the resources that are shared by you and the resources that are shared to other accounts, they should be within the same region. So as you guys can see, currently I'm working within the APAC region Singapore for this main account and also for this secondary account. Now this is the main dashboard for the resource access manager. It gives you a very simple view of how it works and the way it works, it is fairly simple. Uh, one of the best things is it it, it is a free of charge service. So there's no additional charge for you to set it up and start using Resource Access Manager within your accounts. And then here it gives you a few use cases and the benefits and features of using the Resource Access Manager within your organization. Here on the left hand side, we have multiple options. The first one gives you the resources that are shared by you to other accounts. And the second one gives you the resources that are shared to you from other accounts. So a couple of options you have. Let's go ahead and see how we can create our first resource share. So by clicking on create a resource share, it takes me to the main screen where I am able to create multiple resources. So here I'm going to give it a basic name. Now the resources that you're able to share, there are limited resources that you are able to share via the resource access manager across accounts or across organizations. By clicking on the drop down arrow here, it gives you all of the re different resources that you are able to share within Resource Access Manager. So for example, you can share the Aurora DB clusters, you can share dedicated hosts, you can share images for EC2 instances, whether it be recipes or the actual images, uh, configurations, resource groups, subnets, traffic mirrors, and transit gateways. So go through all of these. You can also share code build. So if you are in a DevOps environment, you are able to share your code build projects 
and your report groups and so on. So these are the current resources that you're able to share and group within the resource access manager. And when you click on each one, let's say if I click on subnets, it lets me view the different subnets that I have created within this account that I am able to share. So let's say if I want to go ahead and share a subnet, I can simply click on subnets, click on the checkbox, and it adds it to the selected resources. Next option is the principles, whether you want to allow external accounts. So you are able to allow accounts that are outside of your AWS organization access to your resources. But keep in mind, certain resources are limited to be shared within AWS organizations only. So for example, subnets, you can only share within your own AWS organization. You are not able to share it with external accounts. So let's say if I were to uncheck the external accounts, here is where I would add either the account number, the organizational unit, or the organization. So if I navigate on over to my other account, in the My Account, I can simply copy this account ID and paste it here. It lets me know that the selected principles for sharing this resource or these resources are is this account. And then optionally, I can also tag this specific resource share. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create the Resource Share. There we go. It lets me know that it's currently created and it's currently active. And on the left hand side, if I click on shared resources here, it gives me all of the individual shared resources, regardless of if I have five shares, all five will show up here. And in the shared resources, every each individual share will show up. So within the resource shares, I can have maybe you know 20 shared resources. So all 20 of them will share will show up here. And towards the bottom are the resources that are shared with you. So let's go ahead and navigate on over to my other account. Currently I'm in my other account. So let's go ahead and go into the resource access manager dashboard. Now in this account, what I, what I am interested in is the resources that are shared with me. So if I click on resource shares, as you guys can see that this resource named custom resource has been shared with me, which is the one that we created by the other account. And if I click on this resource, it lets me know all of the individual resources that are shared with me. And same thing with the shared resources. It lets me know the individual resources that are shared. And if I click on it, it takes me to the VPC configuration. So this is the subnet that is shared with me. And I'm able to go ahead and utilize this subnet within my VPC or within my EC2 instances that I'm creating or however I am designing my architecture in AWS. And in the principles, this is the principles that have shared resources with my account. So this is the account ID of my other account that I have created the resource share from. It lets me know the resource shares and the number of resources. So it, essentially, it is as simple as that in terms of using resource manager, resource access manager to go ahead and organize and share your resources to have better governance and better security within your AWS account.